breakdown for August 7th. So for today's workout, you will need a barbell. You can also use a dumbbell or kettlebell here. And if you have the option, you can also row. If you have a rower or a brewing class, you can also pick a rower instead of the running today. Exciting. Uh, so to start our warm up, you got a 400 meter rower run. So in the workout, if you're gonna run, run here, or if you're gonna row, row here. Then we have two times through the next three exercises. We have our sprinter lunge. So when we step back, we're gonna bring that head and chest down towards the ground from here. If you wanna rotate or rock, you can. And then we're going to stand it back up and switch sides. Same thing, spider lunge, 10 total, five per side. Then we have down dog plank. So hit that down dog, go feet, drive that chest towards the thighs, and go to plank. Then just back and forth from those two positions, getting our overhead position nice and warmed up. Then we have good mornings. So if we have a barbell, we're going to toss that above our shoulders from here. We're going to hinge back, get those hamstrings to be stretched, stand up, and squeeze our glutes. So focusing on those hamstrings, glutes, and low back. Uh, then you have that one more round through, and then we'll get to our barbell warm up. So this is pretty much our classic barbell warm up. We do a good bit, so we should know how to roll through this. Okay, so we're going with our clean, clean, so hands right outside of the hips into our hook grip. So start, we're going to do five reps of everything here. So it's a down and finish. So I'm locking the knees down, squeeze the glutes, drive the shoulders. Next five reps is that high elbows. So down and finish, high elbows, high and outside. Then muscle clean, down, finish, high elbows, and then elbows come under nice and quick into our front rack position. Next, we're going to do a power clean, so dipping underneath it. Same exact flow, except now we're dipping underneath it. As you can tell, we're just adding to it each time here. Okay? Next one is going to be a full squat clean. Five reps there, and then finish it off with our push press. It's a dip and drive. Don't dip underneath, back into that rack. Okay? Really use those legs to power that bar up. So now that we're nice and warm, we have our uh, skill section here. So we have two separate five minute e-mops. So our first one, so that's every minute on a minute. You have to get all this work in, then you get the remainder of the minutes of rest. It's only five minutes. Take a little rest before you get to that next five minutes. First one we have is our power clean. So from the ground, we're gonna come all the way up into that down and finish position and power clean. Back down to the ground each time. The next one is gonna be a squat clean. So all the way down as we come up, we're gonna do a full squat with a pulse and then stand it up. Okay, so it's a full squat, little pulse in that weakest area where we receive, and then right back up. The next one we're gonna do is a jerk. So we can either do a push jerk or a split jerk here. So a push jerk, or we can do our split jerk. Either one works just fine. Okay, so we got all three reps there. Take a rest and then repeat that on that next round. So for the next one, as we come through, we're going to do not, we're not going to do that pulse. We're still got our power clean, we still got our jerk, but in between now, that hang squat clean is just start hanging all the way into our squat clean. Okay, so you don't have to do that pulse on that second round. So we can think about maybe adding a little bit of weight to that second exercise on that second five minute EMA. If we are using a dumbbell here, it's everything, you just add another rep to it. So we would go power clean, wrap down, power clean, then switch arms. Okay, so doubling the reps if we're using a dumbbell, just because it's not gonna be as heavy. Now getting into the Metcon. This Metcon is going to have a 15 minute cap. We have two different exercises with a cardio element in between, starting off at a round of 21 of back squats and shoulder to overhead, then 15 of the same, then nine of the same. Remember, you have a shake up either row or run. Row is gonna be 250 meters, run is gonna be 200 meters. So it's nice and quick, getting right back into those back squats and shoulder to overhead. Okay, we have some options here with our back squat. So remember, we have to clean it up, get overhead, and then set it on our back for our back squats. So if we do not feel comfortable getting it all the way onto our back without a rack, we can go from that front rack and just do a front rack lunge, okay? After we finish, we're going to come back into that front rack and then do our shoulder overhead. You can jerk it there, you can strict press it, anything to get it from your shoulders to overhead, okay? 
Uh, the weight is pretty heavy here, so we're shooting to get around maybe two to three sets to get through that shoulder to overhead. Back squat, we should be able to get unbroken. You don't want to have to pick it up a second time to roll through those, okay? Our runs and rows should be somewhere a minute or less.